you guys want to know what happened to me last night? So I committed a sin and I was really upset and I was just like, God, forgive me. And then I was just like hiding about it. I was like, okay, forgive me. And then I've like run away and like, where was I hiding? But I was really upset and I went to sleep and I remember just feeling like throughout that day, like God wanted me to talk to him. And I was like, I didn't want to talk to him because I was so embarrassed. And I was like, I, I feel so much shame. Like, I don't want to talk to you right now. Like literally thinking this in my head. So I go to sleep at night and I'm, I woke up at like 12, 30, 1, 30 a.m. And I just felt like something was around me. Like I had a really bad dream. And there was like something that just came in my room and walked in my room, like I just felt it. And I'm freaking out and I pull out my scripture because when I get scared, I take my scripture and I just like put it on my bed. And I open up the Bible and it says this. And the scripture is Psalm 32 and it says, I did not cover up my iniquity, but I brought them to you and I didn't hide it. And I was saying, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And then I was saying, and then I was talking about how like, you're gonna forgive me for me bringing it to you. And it said, you forgave the guilt of my sin. Literally, in the middle of the night, meanwhile, I'm mad depressed about what I did. And I'm just like, wow, like God is always talking to me and he's always there and his love is just so abundant that he didn't even want to like scold me and yell at me. He was just like, hey, this is what you got to do. Come over here and I'll help you. Like that's literally what it is. Every time we sin, we feel like we need to run. But in reality, we need to be going towards God. And when I saw that on the page in my Bible, like I just got so happy and I was like, wow, like you're always here with me, God. You're always here with me. And I just felt really happy and then I just read Psalms like I just put my audio Bible and I just listened to it and listened to it and listened to it and it was so beautiful and God is always with us all the time even if you're one of those sinners and you're like I can never be saved da -da -da -da. it doesn't work like that like all you have to do is just say hey like you know what I'm gonna acknowledge Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior I'm gonna start seeking you by reading your word and when you read your word you begin to change you begin to trust God you begin to have more faith and then you like you know, you'll end up going to heaven if you accept him. It's really that simple. And no, I'm not saying that life is easy, but it's a straight path. It's the straight and narrow road. It's not like this bumpy circus. It's very simple. My life has been beautiful with the Lord and he's teaching me things and helping me grow and helping me grow, helping me to help others grow as well. And just, just it's, it's just so beautiful. So yeah, if you have a sin, go straight to God because he wants to forgive you. Like. I'm pretty sure it glorifies God when he's able to show you his mercy and his grace. Like he wants to do that for you. If you were dead, there would be nothing you could do, but you're alive for a reason. So keep that in mind. And we all don't know how much time we have. I've had friends who died when I was in high school. I had friends who died when I was in college. You never know. So we don't want to go to hell. It's not a fun place. It's the absence of God. Like, whoo, we don't want that. Go to Christ, always. He's so beautiful. He's such a gentleman. Like, even me, when I became Christian, I didn't even realize how beautiful he was until I started seeking him.